In this video, I want to talk about saving money with your FileMaker Cloud trial. Now, FileMaker Cloud is the new FileMaker software that allows your database or custom application to be shared easily out on the internet by using Amazon AWS data centers. So instead of setting up your own Mac or Windows server, you're utilizing an existing server running in an Amazon data center. Very cool. Now FileMaker offers a 15-day free trial of FileMaker Cloud. And after that period, FileMaker will start to bill you for that trial. Or more specifically, Amazon will add on to your bill the cost of that software because you've gone past the trial period. Now I'm going to go ahead and visit the Amazon Marketplace. I've logged on as myself. This is one of my test accounts that I have. And I'm going to do file maker cloud. It's right there. Okay. And you can see all the options that you have for FileMaker Cloud right here within Amazon's Marketplace. And so of course to do a trial you're going to click on a 5 or 10 or 25 pack and then you're going to say let's set up a trial right here. Right? Now, As you can see right here we have this free trial option right here. And if you read down this little paragraph of information, you're going to see that the trial is good for 15 days and that there's no charges for the software until the trial is over. Now you can always stop the trial early, but if you don't stop the trial, then it rolls over automatically to on-demand or hourly pricing. Now one of the complications is, is that a lot of people tend to set up the trial and then they forget about it. The problem is, is that the FileMaker software for a five pack of users, if you run it on demand or just hourly, is a dollar an hour. Now that might not seem like much, but then when you consider there's 24 hours in a day and you have approximately 30 days in a month, you suddenly could have a really big bill over the course of one month. So a real fast way of blowing up your budget and letting things get out of control is to actually forget about the trial or you decide that you really like FileMaker, but then you don't go back into the system and tell it that you want to buy it on an annual basis. Once you buy it on an annual basis, a five pack is going to be about $888 for the year. As you can see, this is a whole lot less than $1 per hour. So forgetting that the trial is over and it rolls over automatically to hourly is a great way to cause your budget a serious problem. People get surprised at the end of the month when suddenly they get a bill for two weeks worth of FileMaker. Now keep in mind that two weeks worth of FileMaker is going to be 24 hours uh, times 14, right? And that suddenly for just two weeks, $336 just for two weeks. So the idea is that you really need to cancel and shut down the trial entirely or you need to go ahead and buy FileMaker for the year, which is annual. Now keep in mind the annual price we showed a second ago is $888. If you pay for FileMaker on an hourly basis, that translates to 37 equivalent days. So if you leave the hourly system running, you'll reach $888 in only 37 days. So it's much better just to pay for the annual license. Now something else that's really important to understand. People say, well I want to use hourly that way I'm only charged when I use FileMaker server. The billing systems at Amazon and in the FileMaker cloud do not work on the basis or the idea of you only being billed when you use the FileMaker cloud software. The FileMaker cloud is a lot like having lights at your house or your apartment. If you turn a light on and you walk out of the apartment and you go on vacation, that light is still on and you're still being billed by the electric company for the electricity to power that light. That's exactly the same way that FileMaker Cloud works. By spinning up the FileMaker Cloud, it's always available, it's always running. Whether you're using it or not, it's always there running and therefore because of that you're going to be billed for it. So it's much better to get on an annual program as opposed to an hourly program. Now, if you know that you're going to need FileMaker for less than 37 days, then it makes sense to just use it hourly and then to shut it off. However, 37 days of hourly is roughly equivalent to $888, 
which is the price for a one year or annual license for a five pack of users. So, so far we've covered two issues. One, people who start trials who forget about the trials and let them run hourly, or people who let the trials elapse on purpose, but then they don't switch it to an annual basis. And so then they're shocked and surprised to find out that they're being billed upwards of $700 a month in hourly fees for the FileMaker software. The second issue is thinking that you're only being billed hourly if you're logged on and using the FileMaker software. Once you set up a FileMaker cloud, it runs continuously 24 hours and you're billed for every hour, regardless of whether you or any of your staff are logged on and using it. So once again, it's the analogy of turning on the electric light and leaving it on. If you want to shut off the electric light or shut down the server, that is a way of saving cost. But you actually have to shut the server down, which for most people is a little bit of a hassle. So it really doesn't make sense to be spinning the server up and spinning it down unless you have a dedicated IT person who's kind of an expert and who's comfortable with doing this. Now the last area of cost that can get people in trouble is going out of your way and doing a reserved instance. And that's the idea where you go into Amazon and you go ahead and reserve out the virtual server, which they call an instance. You go ahead and reserve that out for a year or three years. The farther out you reserve it, the better discount that you get. And you can get a tremendous discount even by doing a one-year reservation. And if you're buying FileMaker for the year, well, then you might as well just buy the server for the year. So once again, that's another area where people tend to get in trouble. They forget that they're using the software hourly, and maybe they fix that. But then they're also using the server hourly. So the software hourly settings is in one spot, but the virtual server settings are handled with a reservation or a reserved instance. And that's handled by going into your FileMaker Cloud Console and going into the reservation area and paying for a reserved instance for a year or maybe three years. So there you go, that's three concrete areas that you need to focus on in order to save money with your FileMaker Cloud server.